Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what to do if you want to stop the ACES web storage sync tool from doing something which you don't want it to do. So this is my story about something which went totally wrong with this sync tool. Uh, it somehow was my fault, but I think it could happen to anybody and so I'm going to tell you my story what happened i mean this is the website if you want to use that you have to set uh, you have to set up an account log in maybe make payment if you want to use more space download the app and then you get something like that here so you will get the sync tool which is running in the background and you can double click and then you get uh, your sync folder visible whatever you have will be synced to the cloud the problem is just a little bit the speed yeah i think when it has a blue button it should be synced so this is a little bit strange because i had the impression today that it hasn't been syncing anything and if when i check here online yeah it actually doesn't say anything so that's a little bit strange but that's not a problem <laughs> and i actually wanted to talk about when you are syncing things and you want to change for example your sync folder maybe there are other problems too but it happened to me with the sync folder or changing the location of the sync folder so when you want to change something you have to uh, yeah click here and then uh, left click here maybe also right click I don't know and then go to settings and then you will see all the options of this tool so here we are with this tool and yeah when we go to the left side we have this sync uh, sync folder location here and first i had it on a total different location on the d drive and i thought no that's not good actually i want to sync something totally different and i went to change and i browsed for the new folder and accepted and confirmed everything and i thought okay instead of syncing the old location now it will just sync the new location but something totally different happened it started to bridge or to sync the old location to the new location and the whole space was about 700 gigabytes and definitely much more space than what i had available at this time on my c drive and it didn't stop it didn't stop yeah, and of course many of you would now probably think yeah so the old folder was already fully synced to the cloud and now it's syncing back from the cloud to the new folder but that's not the case it was never synced from the old folder i was a uh, couple of times uh, stopping this sync tool restarting it or even rebooting my pc there was nothing i could do uh, the strange thing is as far as i know there's nothing in the back i mean for me it looks like everything it does for the sync folder and um, it does it in the background means it does it uh, asynchronously and not in real time so we don't have any control about what it does we don't see i mean there's a lock but there's nothing like uh there's not a workbook or something like that where we can check and put it on pause or cancel or deactivate or whatsoever so as soon as it starts to do something it will try to continue its way till the very end no matter what, what it's causing even if it's filling your hard disk it will it won't uh, there's no option to stop the thing this is a little bit uh strange here i mean it's good that it does something really stable and it does it very stable it's just a little bit too stable because if it's if it's doing something wrong we can't we cannot stop it at least as far as i can see here and the solution for me was just to stop it i mean you can close the thing you can go here you can then exit and yeah 
I mean, it says, of course, it's not doing anything then anymore at this time, but you can start it at any time with, uh, yeah, just invoking the program. Uh, there shouldn't be any problem. The thing is just when you restart it, yeah, it will continue things. So what you do, uh, the, the only way is to really to go to the system settings and then go to the apps here and then really uninstall it here i mean you have to search for aces and then of course yeah there seemed to be a problem with my keyboard so i cannot show it to you i have to probably reboot my machine but anyway you get the point here here we are at apps and features so just look for the uh, app here yeah i mean we have it here anyway that's the aces web storage and you can just then go and uninstall and then reinstall again if you don't have it locally in the download folder already you can download it from the website uh, reinstall but of course you have to reconnect with your user id and password and then reset everything uh, or set everything from scratch again i mean there's not much to do usually but um, this is definitely how it worked for me so there seemed to be no backup like on the website i was a little bit fearing that uh, some of these settings which i'm using or i was using in the sync tool was backupped or like synced to the website to my account on the asus web storage uh, website on my profile so when i reinstall it it would start again but obviously that didn't happen so uh, all the settings are only stored locally so you can definitely uninstall and reinstall it again and you will have the possibility to start like from scratch so it's definitely worked for me so i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time